this story we're about to bring you may be triggering for you. Troubling allegations are being made against a man in Northeast Houston that involved alleged sexual assault and his dog. Dennis Allen Carter is behind bars being held without bond in this case. Reporter Micah Hatfield joins us live to break down exactly what he is accused of. Micah? Gina, already last week we had an extremely disturbing case out of Montgomery County involving bestiality. People who live near Dennis Allen Carter brought that case up to me when I told them about what happened on their street. And no, this is a separate case, this one involving a pregnant woman, and it's just as disturbing. Yeah, that's a lot of information to take in about a neighbor. Oh my God. Neighbors were just about speechless to learn what reportedly went on inside this home on Kittridge last August. The man living in the home, 58-year-old Dennis Allen Carter, is charged with three counts of aggravated sex assault and one count of bestiality involving his own pet dog. The facts in this case, uh, frankly, sound like something out of a horror show. Um, it gives me serious concern for complaint and safety. The female victim told investigators that he picked her up at a gas station on Cross Timbers and Hirsch and brought her to his home where he held her against her will overnight. She says she was sexually assaulted by Carter who held a gun to her head and said she needed to do as he said or he would kill her. Then it became even more disturbing. Assault, right? Like it's involved the dogs. He's charged with bestiality. Are you? Oh my God. The dogs too. That. That's horrible. Oh my gosh. The woman told police she was forced to do unspeakable acts with his pet dog that he recorded on his phone. He later showed that video and others involving the woman to police, but said she did what was seen in the video under her own free will, according to court records. We found that Carter was convicted of aggravated sexual abuse of a child in the 80s and aggravated sexual assault in 1997. He's required to register as a sex offender for life. He is still on parole, but records show authorities are working to revoke that. That's just shocking to hear because he, he did seem like a nice guy. But I mean, it's all it's all a show.